Hello everyone, welcome to IPM IAS Academy's daily news highlights. Today is 12th August 2024. Let's see what are the important news for today's discussion. And before that, if you have not yet subscribed the IPM IAS Academy YouTube channel, please do subscribe this channel so that you will continue to get updates regarding the civil services examination and also current affairs. The crest gate of Tungabhadra Reservoir washed away alert issued as outflow set to increase. A crest gate of the Tungabhadra Reservoir near Hospet in Vijayanagara district of Karnataka was washed away late on Saturday, raising fears of flooding downstream. So as we all know, we know the importance of a dam, right? A reservoir or a dam, why we are actually having that. The main purpose is to avoid flood and also for the best utilization for irrigation aspects or agricultural aspects. So here it can create a flood. Okay, this particular issue can create a flood in that region. So that is what mentioned here. The outflow may increase up to 2 lakh cusacks at any time. So that is the danger here. And after the chain link of Crest Gate 19 was broken, the gate was washed away in the current around 10.50 p.m. The remaining 32 Crest Gates were opened to reduce the pressure on the broken gate. So this is the issue. The Based on this particular news, what you have to understand is where is it located? Okay, What is the importance of this Tungabhadra river? Why reservoirs are constructed? What is the use of it? And what dangers it can actually cause? Whether it has some connection with other states also? So these points you need to have an idea. So please do try to understand about this particular news. Read this news and understand about it. And you need to look at it from different angles. What is the purpose of a reservoir? Okay. What, what, uh, how it will be helpful for agriculture? How it will be helpful for mitigating floods? All those points you need to understand. And on the other hand, when these kinds of uh, dangers occurs, okay, unexpected dangers occurs, how we need to uh, solve this issue? What are the different ways in which we can actually sort out this particular issue? So please read this article and understand more about it. So this is coming in page number one, general studies one, geography. It is also part of economy and agriculture. Hindenburg report raises political storm. So this is a political news basically. So the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi, on Sunday demanded a joint parliamentary committee, JPC, joint parliamentary committee to inquire into the charges against the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI chairperson. So this is based on the Hindenburg report. So based on this news, what you need to understand is, what is this Hindenburg report? Okay, what is the purpose of this? And apart from this, in this particular article, they have clearly mentioned about two important bodies. One is JPC, that is Joint Parliamentary Committee. What do you mean by Joint Parliamentary Committee? What is the function of Joint Parliamentary Committee? Why it is actually formed in the Parliament? What is the function of it? Please try to understand who are the members of the Joint Parliamentary Committee also. And apart from that, you have to have a very clear understanding about what is SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India whether it is a constitutional body or not. If it is not a constitutional body, what type of a body it is? Is it a, is it a statutory body or is it a non-statutory body? What is the function of SEBI? All those points you need to have an idea. Okay. So based on this news, please try to understand these details. So this is coming in page number one, General Studies 2, Indian Polity. 11 Bangladesh nationals held while trying to enter India. We know the problems that are going on in the Bangladesh right now. Complete unrest is going on. So it is there is instability in the region. So we, we know about it. And that is the reason why we have actually strengthened our borders also. And amid the political unrest in Bangladesh, the border security force has started a special drive along the international border and apprehended 11 Bangladeshi nationals trying to enter India. So this is a border issue. This is a security issue because when the other country nationals are trying to infiltrate into our country or trying to enter into our country without a valid passport or a visa, that is a problem. That is a security threat for us. And that is the reason why we have actually increased our uh, security in the border regions also. So they, the, the, based on that only, BSF has done a, an incredible job. So based on this particular article, what you need to understand is the border security between India and 
Bangladesh. How many kilometers of border we are actually sharing? What are the issues associated with our border management? We clearly knew that the 100th amendment of the Indian constitution is mainly based on the, the exchange of enclaves with Bangladesh only. So try to understand about the exchange of ben, uh, enclaves also. And based on this, try to have a comprehensive idea about our relationship or bilateral relationship with the Bangladesh. And uh, if something happening in Bangladesh, if political unrest is happening in Bangladesh, how it is going to affect our country? Try to have an idea about it and read this article and please do refer whatever things I have actually told you right now. So this is coming in page number 4, General Studies 3 and Internal Security. Constitution does not have provision for creamy layer among SCSTs, Law Minister. The Union Minister of State for Law, Arjun Ram, has accused the opposition of creating confusion among people over the Supreme Court's observation on the creamy layer among the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe communities and said the constitution had no provision for it. So, very important to note this because he is mentioning about constitution. Whether in our constitution do we have a provision that actually provides creamy layer features in the um, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe category. So, that is the first point. And the second point is what is this issue all about? Why this issue is coming in news? Earlier this month, a seven-judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court led by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud ruled in a 6 is to 1 majority judgment that the state governments were permitted to subclassify communities within the SC list based on empirical data. So, what is the purpose of this? When, once you are trying to understand the creamy layer among the SCs and STs, then we can exclude them from all sorts of benefits in the form of reservation. Okay? When they are in the creamy layer, then they do not require the financial assistance or any economic support. They do not need that. Okay? And those who does not belong to this creamy layer only need all these kinds of support. And that is the reason why the, uh, the Supreme Court has uh, made a mention like that. The Supreme Court Judge B. R. Gawai had said the states must evolve a policy for identifying the creamy layer even among the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and deny them the benefit of reservation. So that is the purpose of it. So based on this news, try to understand about this particular observation by the uh, Supreme Court of India and also what are the constitutional provisions that is actually dealing with the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. Try to understand about it. So this particular article is coming in page number 5, General Studies to Indian Polity. Jay Shankar concludes three-day key visit to Maldives. So this is something coming in international relations. It is our bilateral relation with Maldives. The External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar on Sunday concluded a crucial visit to Mali, assuring the country's top leadership that the Maldives remains an important partner of India in maintaining peace and stability and prosperity in the Indian Ocean region. So this region is important now. What is this Indian Ocean region? What are the important countries in this particular Indian Ocean region? And wh why the, the security or the peace in this region is inevitable for India? Okay, so those things you need to have an idea and regarding Maldives, uh, he has mentioned that Maldives remains an important partner of India in maintaining peace, stability and prosperity in the Indian Ocean region. The visit reaffirmed the continued commitment of both countries to strengthening their multi-dimensional bilateral relationship and deepening their close people to people. So basically the objective of this visit was to increase the tie between the Maldives and India. Maybe it is a small country but we cannot neglect the importance of Maldives in the Indian Ocean region. Okay. So based on this article try to understand about our bilateral relations with Maldives especially the history of our relation with Maldives and when you are understanding this try to understand the significance of Indian Ocean region also and when you try to understand the Indian Ocean region and its significance the question regarding China will arise. Okay. The role of China in this region. Okay. The, the Chinese string of pearls in the Indian Ocean region. All those points you need to have an idea because it is something connected with the international relations and also India's maritime security. So this particular news is coming in page number 5, General Studies to International Relations. So here is an important article, an interesting article which is actually 
talking about the need for judicial clarity okay so what is this the parties serious crimes and the need for judicial clarity that is the article so in this article the author is actually mentioning about two important acts okay and what are the acts one is the prevention of money laundering act pmla and the other one is the representation of people act 1951 and the provisions in this act is also mentioned here because it is associated with a case related to Aam Aadmi Party leaders uh, regarding the money laundering. So, here the author is trying to understand the definition of a political party. What is the exact definition of a political party? Whether can we consider political party as a company or not? So, all those points are actually mentioned here based on the information shared in Money Laundering Act and also in the uh, representation of people act rpa act so please read this article and try to understand about both these acts money laundering act and uh, the representation of people act and the special sections they are actually mentioning so here in the money laundering act they are mentioning about section 70 and here in the uh, rpa act they are mentioning about 29a of rpa act 1951 try to understand about it and as a conclusion it is very clearly mentioned that bringing political parties within the purview of prevention of corruption act and the prevention of money laundering act will have far reaching consequences in a country where political vendetta is almost an accepted method of dealing with political adversaries such an action would make all political parties vulnerable so there is a need for the supreme court to clarify the law in this regard and also about the culpability of individual ministers for a cabinet decision so these are the important points addressed in this particular article so this is an interesting article which will actually help you to understand about these acts and also it will give you a comprehensive understanding about the the cabinet decision making uh, what is a political party what is the function of a political party and uh, how it is actually interpreted in uh, pmla and also in rpa act so this will be helpful for you to understand more about political parties and their importance so this uh, article is coming in page number eight general studies to indian polity now another important article which is also coming in page number eight general studies to which is related with the sports and uh, recently we knew that something happened in olympics has uh, greatly affected the uh, the sport lovers in our country the high stakes case of the disqualification of indian women wrestler vinesh fogart from the women's 50 kg wrestling final in the paris olympics 2024 was a setback for india she was found to be 100 grams heavier than the permissible limits so based on this article the author is trying to understand the importance of nutritionist or the importance of uh, nutrition strategy in the uh, sports sector the role of sports nutritionist okay how you can actually monitor the the nutrition and the weight gain the weight loss the health of the sports person all those points are actually mentioned here so one important mention is regarding the precision nutrition which involves understanding an individual's metabolism microbiome and how their body responds to food and calorie expenditure to determine the best dietary practices for them so that is regarding precision nutrition so in this article they also mention about the glucose monitoring which how it is actually relevant for the sports persons and finally they also mention about the role of sports nutritionist uh, in, 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 the, uh, in the country. The study found that coaches and fellow players play an influential role in deciding what dietary regimen works best for the athlete during training and competition. Athletes need sports nutritionists trained in precision nutrition to monitor their nutritional requirements, intake and understand their body composition and metabolism. So here they are mentioning about the need of a sports nutritionist also. So read this article and understand the importance of this particular area because we have just faced the problem okay now a problem is there now we need to come up with a solution for that so mostly this article will give you a solution for it so try to understand about it and have your own perspective regarding that
So an important announcement regarding the guided PCM course 2025. So this is the prelims and mains coaching. So all these features will be there and this is ideal for students, working professionals and passionate IAS aspirants. So before joining this, please take the scholarship test and the scholarship test link is there in the description. Take the test and uh, if you're getting really good marks, you will get the course at a highly affordable price. Okay, so thank you so much for listening to this video. If the video was useful for you, please do share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe so that they will also continue to get updates regarding civil service examination and current affairs.